hammer that throttle. <laughs> and he kept yelling at me, get on the throttle! <laughs> All right, so with, tonight we're here at uh, Quaker City uh, Raceway. It's in uh, Salem, Ohio, East Salem, Ohio. Uh, we got a, a couple of uh, uh, customers coming this evening that's gonna bring their uh, 78 Trans Am out for us to help them tune it. We just had it at the shop and we did some uh, uh, did, uh, tail pilot pipe uh, rerouting and uh, put some sticky tires on the back of this thing and changed the carburetor. The uh, carb's going to need some dialing in, so we don't expect the car to perform perfectly tonight, but that's what we're here for. And uh, so me and my son are here to help them out and uh, do a little video for our YouTube channel, too. So what do you think, son? You think uh, uh, we're going to be able to get this thing dialed in tonight? I, ho I hope. I, if anything, I want to I want to make one good pass. Yeah, I'm hoping. You know, we brought the old carburetor with us, so if yep. it does, the new one doesn't work, we can put the old one on. Uh, she, they travel. They don't. Uh, they're not from Ohio. They travel all over the country and drag race, which is kind of cool. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do, and hopefully we can get them going. They're yep. gonna be coming in here shortly, and we'll be able to yep. uh, video them coming in. They got a really nice rig. So uh, we're waiting. We're awaiting their uh, their response. Yep. Yeah. So we're waiting. We're awaiting their entrance here. And then uh, we'll get uh, started doing some video, maybe of their car and some other cars while, while we're here. There's a lot of cool stuff here tonight. Yep. Oh yeah. There's I uh, see. I mean, this is uh, there's a '65 GTO sitting over there, and I think uh, we've seen another customer, uh, Dave Lobert. Uh, he was here with, uh, I'm sure, with his '72 Le Mans, so or '71 Le Mans. I don't remember which one it is. Yep, we're going to see some good action for sure. Uh, I see a lot of wheelie bars, so hopefully we get some wheelies. Yeah, some wheel stands. That'd be cool. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's been 30 years since I've been to this track. I, it's, it's just, it hasn't changed a lot, but it has changed some. This track, you got to go uphill to uh, get to the burnout box. So what you do is you go, this is the pits over here behind us. Or I mean, staging yeah, lanes, staging yeah. Staging lanes over behind us. And uh, so what you do is you go around the corner and then you go up a hill and the burnout box is up at the top of the hill. So uh, it's kind of unusual. You don't see that in most tracks, but uh, I kind of like it. But there's a lot of cars here. They're gonna, it, we're gonna be lucky to get two, two time trials in tonight. Yep. Well, three runs. She'll get the first round of Gambler's uh, race, so. Yeah, she'll get at least to do that. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope that the car doesn't pop and sputter and carry on and act stupid. Right? <laughs> uh, we'll get her fixed up as best we can. Yeah, we only got two runs to do it in, though, yep. so we'll see. <laughs> it'll be what it'll be. Looks like uh, Tina and George finally arrived. There you go. <laughs> That's a serious rig they got there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's freaking hard. That's uh, racing with luxury. We got a stacker. There's two race cars in that trailer. Is he going to run his car tonight? I don't know. He didn't say. I don't know if they're just going to run her car tonight or if they're going to He's got a Super Pro class car? I think it runs somewhere in the 8s. I'm not sure where. Oh, shoot. That's more than it's Super fast. Pro. Yeah. Fast. I didn't know how fast he went. But that's a back half car though, isn't it? His? I didn't really look at his. Oh, you didn't look at his too much? I didn't look at it because we were so busy. Yeah. Now hers is a true street car. It's all yeah. steel, the real deal. Yep. 
and it has a roll cage, but a 10 point, or is that an eight? Uh, it's just a roll bar. It's oh, it's just a roll bar? Okay. It's, uh, she's probably going to have to update that a little bit, because her car, once it's dialed in, is probably going to run low 11 high 10. Low 11 high 10s. It's a street car. She can drive that thing on the street. Yep. They're doing the uh, final check-in, signing the paperwork, so that way you can't sue the track if a tire hits you in the face. Uh, paying the, the entrance fee. Now this is fun, this is exciting. Yep. I like helping my customers. Here they come. Oh, they're going to go around the other way, okay. I thought for sure they'd have them go in the back because that's what it said on their website. Well, they might have them parked over there. Oh. That's a nice rig. There. Yep. Well, we'll let them get uh, settled down and uh, get the car unloaded and then we'll go over and load them. Yep. Tina's going in to get teched right now. This is the tech process where they check your car over. They make sure everything is the way they want it to be so that way you are safe. Uh, you know, they check roll cage. They check uh, window nets if you have one. Drive uh, shaft safety loop. You know, the, the, the typical stuff you would have on a race car. And they check all of it. And it has to do with uh, the class too that you're running in. If you're running street, it has to be like a like you would drive it on the street. It has to be fully exhaust. Has to be a radial tire. Has to be no, you're fine, buddy. Um, it has to be a uh, street car. Guys, can you start racing or nope, we're doing YouTube. YouTube. Okay, yeah. You DCI Motorsports. Yeah. Brandon, you can't race. Alright. I will I will look you up. Right. Oh, she got she must have got the A-OK. -okay. Seven dollars or eight dollars, I'm not sure. It's seven, eight. Still a deal. Seven, I think. Yeah. For uh, twelve dollars. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all for a good pie. If you like pie, and who don't love eating pie? So um, if you're a good Italian, um, you love a, a good pizza pie. Yeah, Bruce Shock Jr. and his Firebird. Steve Tegelman and his uh, Pontiac Firebird. Both of them. Yep, small tire, big tire, no doubt. Quake and racing IHRA for a lot of years, and the night of fire 
he won himself an Ironman at the IHRA Quaker City Sportsman Spectacular. Watch the Camaro. He'll usually, uh, he puts a blue pill in the fuel cell. How about Jody, 002 on the tree, and goes a 686 in her Mustang. Now Jimmy Grove Groover, Groover Groover, up in the Vega, out of Hubbard, Ohio, and Daryl Miller out of Petersburg in the uh, 68 Camaro. In uh, rest in peace, George Riley Trunk. Those tires, when they start to stick, it's going to bog your engine down. And then 
then when that happens, it's going to load up the plug a little bit, and then it, it might hesitate on the line. Okay. So, or it might take a little bit just to clear out on, you know, when you launch. So, okay. yeah, you don't want to fog the engine in the burnout box, so you can avoid that. Okay. And then, um, I don't know how you stage the car, and uh, I don't know how you stage your car. So what I do, whenever I'm racing, because I want to be consistent, so I get up there, take a deep breath, and I turn the first bulb on, and wait a second. Just hold up. Get your composure. Then you want to flicker that second light. Don't turn it on, you want to flicker it. So when you bring it up against the brake, it comes on. What that's going to do, then you know every time you're going to So that way, that way, that part's consistent. You know that you're going to do this every time, just like that. And then bring it up, whatever you're going to do on the tack, that's what you bring it up to. see a red light so that last bulb when it comes on hammer the problem okay. then we'll see where you're at yeah i'm going i'm going when i see green i'm not going don't do that. Uh, that's what i'm doing i'm going up green yeah no no you're good you're good and that's you know what i hope now the jitterbugs are all gone and yeah, you're they're kind of out yeah I, good. I, was nervous. I almost was going to just tell him to test it no i'm so happy you did man. you did great <laughs> I would let it cool a little bit. I don't. Did he tell you how many time trials you get? You only get two, I think, right? He didn't tell me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm hoping to get more time. I hope so, too. Because, you know, I'm going to so too. Because, because you got the mile an hour, so I don't know. I'll, 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 another thing that you need to do is you calculate what you're eating by your mile an hour. So you take 1,320 feet, you divide that by your mile an hour, add 0.25 to that, and that's what you're going to eat. Oh, well, thank Just you. Let us know. We got water, flavored water, and Dr. Pepper. Perfect. And lemonade. That, that's more than I can ask for. Thank you. So, just, <laughs> if you guys want something, just go in and go, or tell us or whatever. Okay. All right. So this is what your car is capable of doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we got to work on the starting line. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, so it may require us to bring it up out of the hole and bring our beams up a little bit more.
but uh, but you gotta make sure that's like both on because we're not the red light you anyway. But if you get a red light, go because we're still gonna give you a time. Yep. Don't wait for time. Yeah, he's always, don't don't pick up there. Let the other guy go. And I'm always like I'm watching him, so I just want to get up there and get there. Not worry about it. That's what I did. He was way back, still way back, way back, way up. You were up here. I let him come up. And then when he come up and stop. And then if he was creeping forward, I was pulling you forward at the same time. So yeah, point your own game. I, what I used to do is, is I would always hang back too. I like to burn a guy out. I let him get in the beam and let him get all pissed off at me and then I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> because then no red light usually. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's just a game. Okay. You know, it's a find game. your rhythm. Yep. Yeah. But the you're biggest let me find it. Okay. You're doing good. The biggest thing is when you like that first ball, you take a deep breath and then let your composure come around. You'll be good. Okay. You did great. I think you did really good. <laughs> it went straight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it went straight. I, I was really, I was like, it's not gonna go away. You know, it's not gonna do that. <laughs> no, it, it went. It just. It just went, yeah. And I think when it went, I don't really have, I think it went, I don't know, I don't think So you don't think you poured it right away? I don't think so. Yeah, what was your 60 foot? I didn't see that. Oh, hundred and eighty. Yeah, I think you poured it right away. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you probably are sandbagging a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I was like, I don't know, I don't think it went right away. Yeah, you know, I think it went like, you know, you just kind of let it go and then you just kind of let it you're not going to have to worry about traction. I think so, yeah, you're good. After I really, I just like, straight. You did good. It's hard to keep you straight. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Good. It, it felt good on your feet. Hi, everybody. I'm up here at the starting line in the bleachers. Check out this awesome drag strip. Living the dream, baby. Don't get no better than that. I know you. 
12, 17, and 115 mile an hour. 